Hello, kamato class. Welcome back sa isa na namang pagtuklas ng aralin sa mathematics. With this video, we will be working with construction of triangles, squares, regular polygons, and regular hexagon. So let's start working with the construction of that. The first to construct is equilateral triangle. Recall first that an equilateral triangle is a triangle in which all three sides have the same length. So make it a point sa i-construct natin of figure or triangle ang magiging sides niya ay magiging pare-parehas ng sukap. That is the reason why we are working with construction so that the measure of the sides that we are constructing will be precise and talagang yun yung magiging sukat niya at equal talaga. So, let's start with the first step. First step is to draw a line. So, let's draw a line. Okay, yan yung magiging line natin at yan din yung magiging sukat ng side ng equilateral triangle. Then, the next step that we need to work on is to place the compass at one end of line segment and make it sure it is adjusted on the length of the line segment. So, dito natin ilalagay sa one end ng line segment ang compass. Okay, then adjust it. Okay, in adjust natin, same as the length of the line na naidrawing natin kanina. Kasi as I have mentioned, yun yung magiging sukat ng side ng ating na i-construct na triangle. Next is to draw an arc. So, we need to draw an arc at this side. So, we have, okay, we have that. So, gagawin din natin sa kabilang side. Okay, so we have that two arc and mayroon siyang point of intersection. So, we need that. Next is place a ruler between the intersection of the arc and one end of the segment and draw a line segment between them. Like that. So, yan yung ating ruler. Doon natin ilalagay kasi i-connect natin yung end point ng segment na na-drawing natin at ang intersection ng arc. Okay, so, we illustrated the segment at that side. Sa kabilang side, gagawin din natin. Okay, so we illustrated it already. At yan ang ating equilateral triangle. Again, dapat yung sides niya ay same length. So ito, at saka ito, at saka yan. Pare-pares yan ang length. Basta we need to follow these steps. Okay, so that's the first figure that we constructed. Let's have the next one. The next one is a square. So, we will construct a square. So, alam naman natin na when we talk of a square, it is a plain figure with four equal sides and all of it, its angle, a right angle. So, measure ng magiging angles niya ay 90 degrees. So, let us start with the first step. Draw a line. So, yan. Draw natin ng line. Okay, so yan na din yung magiging side or length ng side ng square na ating i-construct. Next step is to extend the line. So extend natin yung line. Okay, so ginawa kong yellow yung kulay para ma-identify natin na itong white. Yan yung magiging sukat ng side ng ating square na na-construct. Next is draw an arc with the compass after placing it at a point on the line. So, ito, ito yung point na nasa line natin na na-illustrate. So, dyan natin ilalagay ang compass. Okay, so we have that. Then, afterwards, draw an arc. So, gagawin din natin sa kabilang 
side. Okay, so that is carry out the third step on the opposite side. Dito rin yun, ginawa din natin sa kabilang side. Next is place the compass at the intersection of a line and an arc. Adjust the compass and then draw an arc. So, ito na lang yung piliin natin sa part na to intersection. So, mag adjust tayo ng ating compass. Ayan yung compass, adjust natin. So, we adjusted the compass. Then, draw an arc. Okay, so we draw an arc. Gagawin din natin sa kabilang side. Okay, so that's the carry out the fifth step on the opposite side. So, narito kanina, as nilipat natin sa kabilang side, and we illustrated it. At meron ulit tayong point of intersection ng arc. Next is connect the arcs and intersection and the point on a line. So, itong point na to, at yung intersection, i-connect natin. Okay, so we have that line. When we connected the point on the line and the intersection of the arc. Next thing to do is place the compass on the first segment. Draw yung naunang segment na na-drawing natin. Ito yon. And move it to the other line. Then draw an arc. Yan. So make it a point. Kapag naka-adjust yung ating compass, ito talaga yung length. Kasi iyan yung magiging length ng square na naiko-construct natin. Then, imumove natin dito sa kabilang segment. So, dapat yan pa rin yung kanyang length. Yan. Na-imove natin. Then, draw an arc. Okay. So, we need to draw an arc. So, mula dito hanggang doon at mula dito hanggang doon. Yan. Parehas na yan ng sukat. Next is draw an arc with the compass on the most recent arc. So, ito yung recent arc. So, ibig sabihin dito natin ilalagay ang compass. Okay, then draw an arc. Yan. Then, next thing to do is to follow the same steps on the previous step. So, yan. Ito ulit. Ito yung ating most recent arc. So, doon natin ilagay ang compass. Then, mag illustrate ulit tayo ng arc. Okay, so we have that arc already. So, kung mapapansin nyo, may intersection na dito at same distance yan dito. Ito din, at saka ito, yung mga length. Yan ay pare-parehas na. Then, connect the intersections. So, connect na natin ang intersection of the arcs and lines. Okay, we have that. At yan yung square na nag-construct natin. So, equal yung kanyang mga sides at ito ay 90 degrees ang naging angle niya. Okay? So, that's the construction of square. Let's have the next. This time, we'll be working with regular pentagon construction. So, pag sinabi natin pentagon, a pentagon is a five-sided polygon. But this time, we will be working with the regular pentagon. Hindi lang basta five-sided, kundi regular. Pag sinabing regular pentagon, sides are equal, then the angle form equal din. So, yun yung ating i-illustrate o i-construct dito. Okay, simulan na natin i-construct. What is the first step? Draw a circle and a diameter. So, ito yung magiging center point ng circle na i-drawing natin. So, let's have the circle. Okay, so we have that. Then, draw a diameter. Okay, so that's the diameter. Again, pag sinabing diameter, it pass through the center point of the circle. Let, next step tayo. Draw an arc inside the circle by placing the compass on a circle's point. So, ito yung pinili nating circle's point. So, mag-draw tayo ng arc. Okay? So, we have that. So, nasa loob yung itutroig ni R. Ginawa natin dito, do it at the other side also. Okay. So, may intersection na nangyari dun sa dalawa nating R. Next is connect the R intersection to the center point. So, ito yung center point. Connect natin. And we have that. So, we connected it. We draw a line by connecting it. The next thing to do, next thing to do is Throw an arc inside the circle by placing the compass 
on a circle the center. So, ito yung circle center natin. Draw tayo. I-a-adjust natin. Yan, papasok. Kasi kailangan ng madraw natin na arc ay inside the circle. Then, draw an arc. So, ginawa natin dito sa side na yan. Gawin din natin sa kabilang side. Okay. So, we have that arcs. So, dalawang arcs na yan. Ha? Arc dito at saka doon. Next. Draw an arc inside the circle by placing the compass on a circle's point. So, dito naman tayo sa circle's point. So, mag-drawing ulit tayo ng arc sa loob, pero dito natin ilalagay ang compass. Okay, draw inside. Yun. So, na-draw natin dito. Sa kabilang side, gagawin din natin. Okay, so we have that intersection of the arc here. Meron din dito na intersection. Need natin ng mga yan para makakonstruct tayo ng pentagon. Next thing to do is place the ruler on the arc's intersection and mark the intersection on the radius with a segment. Yan, lagay natin. Dito lang tayo maglalagay ng mark. Kasi ito yung reduced. So, dito lang tayo maglalagay ng mark. So, palatandaan lang kasi gamit natin yan later on. Okay, yun. Ilagyan natin ng blue mark. Next, place the compass at the center point and adjust it before drawing a circle. Yan na. So, yun yun. Yun yung mark natin kanina. Kasi from the center point, dapat ganun mo i-adjust ang ating compass. Kasi ito yung magiging radius ng i-drawing nating circle. So, mag-drawing tayo ng circle, in-adjust natin, this is as the radius. At ito yung ating magiging circle. Okay, so we draw the circle already. Then, the next thing to do is draw a line. So, dito natin i-drawing a line mula dito papunta doon. Okay? Next. So, siguraduhin mo na yung line kapag kinonect ay dadaan dun sa intersection na ginamit nating mark kanina ito, intersection noon hanggang doon sa big circle natin. Then, lagyan natin ng place a compass. Then, place a compass and draw an arc. So, lagyan natin ang compass. Ayan, ito yon I-adjust ang compass mula dito sa point na to at saka dun sa point ng maliit na circle. Then, draw an arc. So, draw natin ng arc. Again, ganyan kalaki dapat yung adjustment uh, ng compass. Draw an arc. Yun. So, nag-draw tayo ng arc. The next thing to do is, nagyan natin ng mga tanda yung naging point of intersection. Okay. So, doon na lang sa labas yung ating nilagyan ng mark. Kasi yan yung magiging mark ng mga point of intersection ng idodrawing nating regular pentagon. Next. Yan, lagay natin kasi ito yung magiging length ng side ng pentagon. So, kaya dapat alamin natin yung sukat niyan at magmamark tayo sa iba pang part ng circle. So, magagawa tayo ng arc. Ayun. So, dito natin nilagay yung arc. So, inalam mo na yung sukat Tsaka natin nilagyan ng arc. So, ginawa natin dito, gawin natin sa kabilang side. Okay, so we have that. So, ito ngayon yung ating another mark. So, ito ngayon yung magiging point or vertices ng mga side ng ating pentagon. So, connecting the point and an arc. So, connect natin. Ayan. So, kinonect natin mula doon. At yan yung ating Regular pentagon. So, yung mga sides niyan ay equal at itong mga angle niyan ay equal din. So, just follow that step by step constructing regular pentagon. Next is the regular hexagon construction. So, pag sinabi natin hexagon, it is six-sided polygon. Again, regular ulit. Kaya, ang sukat ng mga sides Pare-parehas, pati sukat ng angles. So, let's start. Draw a line. Okay, so yan yung magiging line natin na na-illustrate. Then, place the compass on the line and make it the same length as the line and draw an arc. So, compass, same length again ng na-drawing nating 
line sag na. Then draw an arc. Do it at the other side. Draw an arc. So, yan. Meron uli ang intersection na kailangan natin later on. Then, next thing to do is place the compass on the intersection of the arc. So, lagay natin. Yan. So, yan yung intersection ng ating arc na na-drawing. Doon natin nilagay ang compass at mag-i-illustrate tayo ng circle. So, ito ang magiging center point, yung intersection ng arc ng ating i-drawing na circle. Yan. Na-drawing na natin ang circle natin. At ang susunod na step is draw an arc to the circle with the compass at the end of the segment. Ito yung end ng segment. So, dito na lang ang piliin natin. Draw an arc. Sa bilog, dapat mapunta yung arc. Yan. So, ibig sabihin yan yung magiging distance ng idodrawing nating hexagon. So, same way, continue drawing an arc. So, kung alin yung pinaka-latest ni arc, doon na natin ilalagay ang compact. Draw an arc. Ito yung latest arc. So, doon ulit maglalagay. Ito yung huling arc. Doon ulit natin ilalagay ang compass. And we illustrated already our arcs. So, pag may arcs na tayo, yung mga intersection, yun na yung magiging vertices ng i-illustrate nating regular hexagon. So, connect the intersection. Yan. Then, connect natin yung susunod. Okay, so yan ngayon ang ating regular hexagon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sided polygon. At regular yan kasi pare-parehas uli yan na magiging sukat from here dito nang galing. At ang mga angles yan pare-parehas din ng sukat. So I hope natuto tayong mag-construct ng triangles, squares, regular polygons, and regular hexagon. That's all. Come out class. See you next presentation. God bless us.